हेलो दिस इज मल्टीप्लिकेशन लेसन 1.8 इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज अ मल्टीप्लिकेशन फैक्टर नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई से दैट ए नंबर एक्स इज इंक्रीज्ड बाय 30 परसेंट व्हाट इट मींस इट मींस दैट एक्स प्लस 30 परसेंट ऑफ एक्स नाउ यू कैन एक्सप्रेस दिस इन टू वेज वन वे इज दैट एक्स प्लस दिस थर्टी परसेंट इज पॉइंट On, and this will become 1.3x or you can uh, make it a fraction x plus 30 percent is 3 by 10 30 by 100 3 by 10x and this will become 13 by 10x now what what is the multiplication factor here now initial number was x final final number is 1.3x now 1.3 is getting multiplied with x now this is the multiplication factor same way 13 by 10 is also my, my multiplication factor this is mf multiplication factor this is also multiplication factor same thing 13 by 10 is also a 1.3 these are two ways you must know both the ways because sometimes uh, fraction uh, part is easy and sometimes decimal part is easy you also need to understand that Uh, whenever x become 1.3x it means that the number has increased by 30% also if x increased by 20% what will happen now this will become x plus 20% of x that is 0.2x so this will become 1.2x or you can say that x plus actually it will be x plus 20% of x now one way was this x plus 0.2x second way is this x plus 20 percent is 1 by 5 x this becomes 6 by 5 x now when we will solve the questions in data interpretation you must be straight away uh, answer this x increase by 20 percent it means straight away my answer should be 6 by 5 or 1.2 x you don't have to do this step in exam this is just for explanation next is x increase by 40 percent can i say this is equal to x plus 40 percent of x that's x plus uh 40% of x i am writing now you can straight away say that 40% is 40 by 100 0.4 so x plus 0.4x this become 1.4x now 1.4 is a multiplication factor and you must also know the reverse of this if x becomes 1.4x it means that there is a 40% increase same way what is this will become x plus 90% of x x plus 90 percent of x can i say this 90 percent is what 90 by 100 that is 0.9 so this will become 1.9 x or you can say that in fraction form a uh, 90 percent is 9 by 10 so x plus 9 by 10 as this become 19 by 10 x and also this this uh this first one 40 percent is 2 by 5 we know that fraction part 20 percent is 1 by 5 so 40 percent would be 2 by 5 so x plus 2 by 5x this will become 7 by 5x so you must know both the uh, ways of conversion now how the learning both the ways is helpful you can see that here if i say that this is equal to x plus 16 2 by 3 percent of x now converting this into decimal will be complicated the decimal part this is 1.4 or 1.9 you it's very difficult to write Uh, convert this into a decimal form so better is fraction form this is x plus what is 16 2 by 3 this is 1/6 remember the fraction 16 2 by 3 percent is equals to 1/6 this will become 7 by 6x now this 7 by 6 is the multiplication factor simply means that uh, initial value was x final value is 7 by 6x it means that 7 by 6 got multiplied with x so that's why we called it as a multiplication factor the important thing here is to remember that you also know the reverse as i told you earlier if x becomes 1.4x it auto automatically means there is increase of 40% if x becomes 1.7x it automatically means that there is increase of 70% so that's the objective of this lesson same way we will do for the decrease x decreased by 20% now it, what it means x minus 20% of x again you can write in decimal form 
or in fraction form so decimal form would be how much x minus 0.2x that is 0.8x and fraction form would be how much x minus 20 percent is 1 by 5x this is equals to 4 by 5x so it means that here the multiplication factor is 0.8 or 4 by 5 same thing because initial value was x final value is 4 by 5x or you can say that 0.8x now this 0.8 or you can say that 4 by 5 are multiplication factor you must also know the reverse if x becomes 4 by 5x it automatically means that there is a decrease of 1 fifth or 20 percent same way x decrease by 40 percent x minus 40 percent of x this will become x minus 0.4x that is 0.6x this is in decimal form 0.6x or x minus 2 by 5x this is equals to 3 by 5x now straight away you should solve this this is x minus 70 percent of x so this will become x uh, x minus 0.7x that is 0.3x or it will become x minus 70 percent is 7 by 10x that is 3 by 10x and here now here decimal will won't, will not help because this is a bit uh, this is not a simple number so whenever the number is not simple here is a simple number 70 percent 40 percent and 20 percent then decimal is the easy part when the percentage is bit complicated then you must know the fraction so this is x minus 37.5 percent of x if i solve in a decimal way how it is complicated because this will become x minus 0.375 x and that is a bit complicated so we won't go by that method we will go with the fraction method that's why i told you that fraction method is very important this x minus 3 by 8x because 37.5 percent means 3 by 8x because 12.5 percent is 1 by 8 we did in the previous topics 12.5 percent fraction means 1 by 8 multiplied both side by 3 you will get 37.5 percent this equals to 3 by 8 so this will become 5 by 8x so here 5 by 8 is my multiplication factor. So that was all about this lesson. Thank you.